The initiative is called Shield the Hill. Right now, masks are required indoors and in all public spaces. And for those people who are not vaccinated, weekly COVID testing begins this week as well. Now, one student told me she knows the guidelines may be annoying to some, but it can help everyone in the end. Generally every day there's a, some activity that some organization is having on campus on the quad and we're not really having those events anymore. Akia Floyd is a junior at Alabama A&M and she told me this year is looking very bleak compared to years past. Masks are not only required indoors but also outside where social distancing can't be achieved and that's not all. This year there's a curfew put in place for all dorms. There's absolutely no visitation between them and curfew starts at 11 p.m. But Floyd says she knows this is all so they can get back to that normal college experience hopefully soon. Making sure they're wearing their masks, getting vaccinated or tested uh, regularly and following curfew and all of the other uh, procedures, I think we'll be moving towards that sense of normalcy. The university is still asking everyone to continuously wash their hands and complete a daily health check. And Floyd says she's looking forward to the day she can get ready for the biggest event of the year. Last year, homecoming was virtual pretty much. So being able to actually go out and have all of the different activities, I'm definitely looking forward to that. AM told me the procedures in place right now are temporary and they will be monitoring positive COVID rates here in the area and the county, and they will reevaluate after the first two weeks of school. Reporting in Huntsville, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.